okay first of all assalamu alaikum to all of you i hope you all are fine okay so i muted you all for a while after i complete my explanation i'll unmute you all and ask you all to ask whatever you want to ask okay okay let's start our class what uh, we studied yesterday i will one by one unmute your mics and ask you a random question just raise your hand if you want to answer okay what we studied yesterday who will tell me yes maryam what about you Maryam, I asked you to unmute yourself. Yes. Uh, we learned st sentence structure yesterday. We learned sentence structure. Excuse me, Miss. Can you hear me? Ma'am, I still cannot hear you. Wait. You got yourself muted. Okay, leave it. Okay, so what we studied yesterday is a sentence structure. We studied about sentence structure yesterday. I'm going to show you one PPT which we discussed yesterday. Yes, can you all see that? Okay. So we discussed what is sentence. I repeat, I will repeat this again because uh, we have some of new students today as well who didn't attend the class yesterday. So basically, when we talk about uh, Sentences or a sentence structure, we should know one thing. Before making anything or before doing anything, we should know what is the procedure of that particular thing. Just like we are going to make a cake. So we should know what is the recipe of the cake. Am I right? Okay. Same goes with the sentence structure. Before making a perfect sentence or before, uh, you know, ye, uh, aapko agar ye find out karna hai ke what kind of a sentence is this, before that, you should know ke how many types of sentences are there, what procedure, what is the procedure of those sentences, you know, everything you should know before that. Let's come to the first thing which comes in our mind when we hear about a sentence structure, which is sentence. What is a sentence? A sentence is a group of words that forms a complete thought. What is a thought? Thought kya hota hai? What is a thought? Thought means aisa, aisi koi bhi cheez jo completely aapko first attempt mein samaj mein a jai. Sentence Basically, kya hota hai? sentence ek words ka group hota hai, hai? sentence words ka group hota hai jo ke 
ऑर्गेनाइज तरीके में इस तरीके से लिखा हुआ होता है कि आप जब उसको पढ़ते हैं यू गेट अ कंप्लीट थॉट एट वंस फॉर एग्जाम्पल अगर मैं आपको बोलू के माई नेम इज सबरीना यू विल अंडरस्टैंड ना आपको समझ में आ जाएगा कि मैं क्या बोल रही हूँ और इफ आई विल से लाइक दिस सपोज माई सबरीना इज नेम विल यू गेट दिस यू वॉन्ट बिकॉज मेरा सेंटेंस अरेन्ज ही नहीं है मेरे वर्ड्स मेरे अरेन्ज ही नहीं है तो सेंटेंस सिर्फ ये नहीं होता कि आपका ग्रुप ऑफ वर्ड्स को सेंटेंस बोलेगा नो द अरेन्ज सेट ऑफ वर्ड्स इज कॉल्ड अ सेंटेंस और जो आपको कंप्लीट थॉट है ठीक है देर आर बेसिकली फोर टाइप्स ऑफ सेंटेंसेस सेम जिस तरीके से हमने कल डिस्कस किया था कि वेन वी मेक केक देर आर सेवरल टाइप्स ऑफ केक्स यू नो कच केक चॉकलेट केक वेनला केक फ्रूट केक डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ केक यू नो हम होते हैं इसी तरीके से सेंटेंस स्ट्रक्चर में भी सेंटेंस के फोर टाइप्स हैं विच इज सिंपल सेंटेंस कंपाउंड सेंटेंस कॉम्प्लेक्स सेंटेंस कंपाउंड कॉम्प्लेक्स सेंटेंस In this term, we are only going to study about three sentences, ठीक है Which are simple sentence, compound sentence, and complex sentence. First of all, we discussed yesterday what is simple sentence. But when you hear the word simple sentence, आपके दिमाग में आपके mind में सबसे पहली क्या चीज आती है Simple का word सुनते ही आपके दिमाग में एक चीज वो होती है मतलब आपको एक चीज वो फील होती है कि सिंपल सेंटेंस इट मीन इट सिंपल का सेंटेंस होगा एम आई राइट नाउ लेट्स कम टू द डेफिनेशन अ सिंपल सेंटेंस इज डिफरेंट फ्रॉम अदर सेंटेंस टाइप बिकॉज इट कंटेन्स ओनली वन इंडिपेंडेंट क्लॉज एंड हैज नो इंडिपेंडेंट क्लॉज नाउ कम टू द डिबेट ऑफ इंडिपेंडेंट एंड डिपेंडेंट क्लॉज एज आई गॉट Uh, so many complaints about yesterday's lecture that some of you still don't understand what is independent clause and what is dependent clause. My dear, the lecture. Whenever you feel that you didn't understand this thing or a hand. आप उसी वक्त अपना हैंड रेस कर सकते हैं या चैट में वो क्वेश्चन आप मुझसे लिख के पूछ सकते हैं आई विल एक्सप्लेन दैट अगेन ओके सिंपल सेंटेंस और सिंपल uh, सेंटेंस हम इंडिपेंडेंट और डिपेंडेंट क्लॉज की बात करें अब मैं आपको देती हूँ एक बड़ी सिंपल सी एग्जांपल सबकी स्क्रीन पे व्हाइट बोर्ड अपेयर हो गया ओके अब यहां पे आई मेड टू पिक्चर ना टेल मी फर्स्ट पिक्चर जो आपकी है आपको समझ में आ रहा है कि कौन सी पिक्चर है नो First picture, first picture. This one, isn't it a square? You are getting this, na? This picture is a square. I made a square. Okay. This is a square. ये picture को देख कर ही आपको आपके mind में आया कि picture made a square. Now, if I will ask you which picture, can you tell me? Just, just shake your hands and can you tell me that that which picture is this? Yes, Maryam. An incomplete picture. Ma'am, can you speak little louder so that I can hear you clearly? An incomplete picture. Yes, it is an 
incomplete picture, okay? The first picture is complete. That's why you get that it's a square. The second picture is incomplete. That's why you didn't get it, okay? Same goes with the independent clause and dependent clause, okay? What is clause? First of all, you have understand what is clause. Clause is the thing which has subject, okay? Plus verb. Okay. Clause is a thing which has subject Clause is a clause. Clause can be basically. Now, when we make a cake, so cake can be a Can you all see the board now clearly? Okay. Where we were, yes. A clause is a sentence which contains subject plus word. Okay. Now, come forward. We were talking about what is subject. Subject kya hota hai? Subject basically, a person who is working is called subject. For example, if I will say, I will go to the market. What is a subject in this sentence? Who is working? Con market jare. Be market jare, you know? So, what is the subject? I am the subject. I is the subject. What is the subject? I will go to the market. This is subject. I is a subject and go is the verb. Go is the Do you understand now? Okay, what is a subject and what is a verb? Take your hand so that I can know you understand. Maria, I, I, I ask to shake your hands, not your hand. Uh, 
many ways. Okay. So I is the subject. Achha, let's come to the next sentence. If I will say, she will go to the market. What is the subject in this sentence? She will be the subject in this sentence. What is the subject in this sentence? She will be the subject in this sentence. And what will be the verb? Go will be the verb. If I will say, Ali is running in the ground. Ali is running in the ground. What will be the subject in this sentence? Yes, Ali will be the subject. Running. What will be the verb in this sentence? Running will be the verb in this sentence. I hope this thing is clear now. Okay. Now, come to the independent and dependent clause. Just like I told you before, I made two pictures. One picture is complete and one picture is not complete. The complete picture gives you a complete sentence. Complete sense, okay? When I have complete picture, then I see you. So, देखने के बाद आपको एक sense, एक time में first time में पता चल गया था कि this is the same. और जो incomplete picture थी, वो नहीं पता चला था कि कौन सी picture है. Same goes with the independent and dependent clause, ठीक है? मैं उसकी भी आपको example देती हूँ. जैसे I write a sentence. My name is Sabrina. The other sentence is First sentence is my name is Sabrina. The second sentence is because my name is Sabrina. Now, who will tell me which is a dependent clause and which is an independent clause? Mariam gave someone else chance to. Yes, raise your hand. Who want to answer? Who will tell me which sentence is independent clause and which one is dependent? Do not switch off your camera. Yes, what about you, Arish Shadman? Can you tell 